zippity doo -dah. beautiful day, great to be alive. Hey, what's up everyone, this is Chris Brown here again. Now, in today's video, I wanna ask you a, uh, a, a kind of a, uh, an intriguing question. You know that saying where it says that if a tree falls and nobody's around, does anybody hear it? Well, the same thing can be compared to your business. If you're in business and if nobody knows that you're in business or nobody knows about you, are you really in business? Because your job as a business owner is not necessarily to do the job that you do. Of course, that's what you're supposed to do, right? But you, really, your job as a business owner is to sell your products and services. If you don't sell, then there's going to be nobody to do whatever it is that you do for, right? The, unless you sell your products and services, there's nobody to do whatever your, your trade is or whatever your craft or your skill is. So the overall success of your business depends on your ability to demonstrate that you are the, uh, the best choice. Um, and you do that through your ability to sell. Now there's so many different areas in your life that your overall success depends on your ability to sell. Take for instance your kids. If you have kids, uh, if you want your kids to obey you and to listen to you, you have to be a person of influence. So you have to develop this ability to sell. Um, your relationships, you'll never see, generally you'll never see a, a rich man married to an ugly woman because he has developed that sales ability. He's been able to sell himself to his beautiful wife, right? So our overall success is in no matter what it is that we do, we have to uh, not only sell our products and our services, but we have to sell our story. We have to be a person of influence in order to, to make it different in the marketplace and to, to make a difference in the world. Now again, as you've probably heard us talk about in some of our previous videos, is that this, this selling and this, this business stuff and this making money is much more than just making money um, because your, your success and your, your financial success impacts so many different areas of your life. Uh, again, one of the things that we've talked about in our previous videos is the number one reason for divorce is money problems. The number two reason for, di for divorce is neglect due to overworking. So what happens many times is people just say, well, I've got money problems, so they decide to work more hours, which sure, it might fix the, the money problems aspect of it, but they just created a new problem because again, the number two reason for divorce is neglect due to overworking. Uh, diabetes and uh, uh, you know stress for, st stresses from financial stress causes diabetes uh, heart attacks obesity and just a host of other problems it was also an issue in men's health magazine in September of 2008 and it showed uh, if you're in the top 10% of income earners which is only about a hundred thousand dollars a year you will outlive the bottom 90% by an average of 12 years so again Business success and financial success is much more than just helping you to make a bunch of money so you can go out and make, you know, buy a lot of materialistic things, but it's helping us to make an impact on people's lives. Now, when it comes down to advertising, most people will agree is that word of mouth advertising is your best source of advertising, right? I'm sure if I was to ask you personally, and with a lot of you, I have asked you this question, what is your absolute best source of, uh, of leads? And you'll always say by getting referrals. But in the most part, for the most part, most small and medium sized businesses don't really understand what word of mouth advertising is. They think that just by doing a, a good, just by providing good products and good services that people should just automatically start referring business to you, right? Um, and that's not really what we normally see. Uh, word of mouth advertising for most businesses is what we call as a bonus. And in most cases, they don't expect to get a referral, but just every once in a while, somebody will refer some products and, you know, refer your products and services to some of their friends and to some of their contacts. So for the most part, it's a bonus. It's nothing that you expected, it was a bonus. Now, one of the things that we've talked about in some of our previous videos, you may remember us talking about this, and that is this idea of having a marketing system. And E-Myth Worldwide says that 97% of businesses fail, right? We all know that, most of us have heard that. But the businesses that use marketing systems, 95% of them succeed. So what we have to use when it comes down to our word of mouth advertising, we have to use a word of mouth advertising system. We have to, architect and we have to develop the ways to generate referrals. So we don't want to just sit around and wait for people to refer us business. We want to be 
actively out there, pursuing in the pursuing our already established clients and pursuing them and architect, architecting a method for us to incentivize our previous customers so that they will refer our business to some of their uh, friends, family, and contacts that they do have, right? And research shows that the average person knows 200 people. Now that's on average, of course, some people are gonna know a lot more than 200 and some people are gonna know less than 200. But on average, the average person knows about 200 people. Now, if they like your service, they eventually, eventually over some time will tell three people on average. If they dislike your products and services, uh, they'll be very passionate about that and they will tell anybody from between 10 to 30 people on average if they're upset with you. So again, this is why you know the, the whole idea of word of mouth advertising, if I provide good products and services, uh, that they're gonna refer our business to them. We have to do other things in addition to this. We have to architect this. We have to do things to incentivize our customers and the ones that we have contact with so that they will refer our products and service to them. So what we're gonna do over the this series of videos is we're gonna do a number of series of videos of different cool places like what you see here in front of you. Um, this is just in front of the little community that I live here, um, uh, Camden Town Square, which is here in uh, Celebration, Florida. But we're gonna go off to some cool little places here, um, film some videos, have some fun while we're doing this. And we're gonna show you some methods to generate and how to architect referrals. So one of the first things that we're going to do is I'm going to show you, and this is really great for those of you who are brand new in business, I'm going to share with you how to generate uh, uh, $500, especially this is good if you're a brand new business, and we're, from, uh, 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 we're going to help you to generate $500 from brand new business from word of mouth advertising. Now for some of you that might say, you know, $500, what am I going to do with $500? But this is really geared for those businesses who are really brand new businesses. Then over the next uh, 10, 15, 20 days or so, um, we're gonna show you some other methods to again go ahead and architect these referrals. So again, just pay attention to your emails over the next uh, day or so, coming days, and we'll start sharing that with you. But again, I do hope this information was helpful. I had a blast filming this video for you here today. I'm gonna go over here to uh, CVS and you know, get some things for, uh, for, for, for you know, just get some things for little snacks and stuff and take that over home. Um, but again, hope this information was helpful. I had a blast filming this for you here today. Take care, everyone. Have a great day. We'll see you in our next video. Bye bye now. Now, again, I hope this information has been helpful. If you'd like some help putting this all together, I want to invite you to order your free DVD where you will discover how to use the money your competition is spending in advertising in order to get you more business for yourself. Now, the first time that I did this, I used $100,000 that one of my competitors had already spent in advertising, and I used that money to be able to get 141 sales within my very first six hours. And I'll show you how companies like Apple, Disney, and McDonald's use this as well and how you can use it. Next, you will see how to harness the spending power of your customers who are spending money with other businesses to make 10 to 20 times more profits from your already existing customer base. So you have customers and your customers are going out and spending money with other businesses. So I'll show you how to make money when your customers go off and spend money with those other businesses. Then we'll also reveal the secrets of what companies like Apple, Disney, and McDonald's do to never pay out of pocket for their business expenses ever again and how you can do the same and how to get companies to pay you in order for you to advertise your business and much, much, much more. So again, I want to encourage you to order your free DVD and you can do that at freedvd.prostarprofits.com.